So we've reached the appraisal process. This is all good news, good news. Some, some files don't get this far, so that's good, congratulations. So what is an appraisal? An appraisal is a requirement by the lender. It is not required if you're buying cash, but you know, you should obtain, if you're buying cash, you should still obtain an appraisal or at least have your agent run comps to make sure that the home you're buying is worth the value you're giving. But if you are financing, if you're obtaining a loan for your home, this is a lender requirement. Now, you will pay it out of pocket before closing. If the file does not close, you do not get this money back. It, the cost runs anywhere from $350 all the way to $700. It depends on the complexity of the property you're buying, if it's single family, if it's multifamily, if it's over a million dollars, if it's a jumbo, if it's a thousand square feet or 10,000 square feet, it depends on the price. Uh, however, you will know ahead of time before you pay it what the price is. Sometimes it's not enough and the lender covers the rest and then charges you the difference at closing. Okay, so it's important to know that. But what is an appraisal? An appraisal is an, a certified person that goes out to the subject of the property you're buying and says, I think that based on this, the features of this home, the condition, the quality, the age of this home, and the upgrades and renovations or lack thereof, this home is worth this amount. Now, how they obtain that appraisal value or market value is based on what the market is showing. So they use typically three to four closed recent sales, if possible, that are similar to the subject of the property you're buying. Typically they use one or two listings or active listings just to show kind of where the market is going. However, they don't give the most weight to the active listings. They give the most weight to the closed sales. So they come up with that value. If it's not the contract price are over. So if, let's say you're purchasing a home for half a million dollars and the value is half a million dollars or more, the lender's happy, everything's good, we can go to the next step. However, what happens if, you know, the, the property's overpriced or we're in a declining market and the appraiser says that home is worth 475? What happens now? Here's what happens. The lender will not lend 500,000 on a house that's worth 475. These are just example numbers, okay? But just to give you a real life scenario. So what happens then? There's several things that can happen. Either at this point, you say, you know what? I had a bad feeling about this house anyway. I don't wanna buy this house. At that time, the lender will have to give you a denial and you will then turn around and give it to the agent. Now you've already invested a lot of money on this home. You probably don't wanna cancel. This is probably your dream home. So that's just an option that you need to know is there. However, most people do not go with that option. They go with the following options. You now can renegotiate with the seller. So one, you can give that $25,000 out of pocket. It is up to you. The lender will not lend on half a million dollars, but you can buy it for half a million dollars. So you can, the different, you can pay it out of pocket at closing. Choice number two, you can, your agent can go back to the seller or the seller's agent and say, hey, the house is not worth 500, my buyer's still willing to buy it, but at 475, what the appraised value came in at. The seller can decide, you know what? Yes, I agree with that. I was just trying to get the most for my money. Let's do a new addendum. Let's get the price reduced and go on to the next step. Or they can say, now, you know what? I know this house is worth it. Either they pay me the 500 or they don't get it. Or they can say, you know what? Let's meet in the middle. If it's, let's say, $20,000 difference, then I'll decrease at 10, but they have to bring in 10. So there's many, many choices and many, many negotiations that can happen while you are at this stage. Now it's between all the agents, the buyers and the sellers, what happens, and it, it, this is like a renegotiation step. Once everyone reaches a renegotiation, and let's say they say, um, okay, this is what's gonna happen, then a new addendum needs to be drawn. Everyone has to sign and date it, and that addendum needs to go to the title company and to the lender if it is being financed. So all the parties involved have to get a copy of this new addendum. Okay, now let's just say that 
when the appraiser went to the property, let's say it's an FHA, and there was outlet covers missing. So there was exposed wiring. FHA does not like exposed wiring. Let's just say that happens. If the appraiser notes that on the report and puts the report subject to fixing those exposed wires, the homeowner will have to repair that. Then the appraiser will have to go back out, re-inspect the property, make sure that those exposed wirings got taken care of. The buyer will now have to pay a final inspection fee. That's called the final inspection. So the cost of that is usually $250. Depending on the lender, you pay it either ahead of time or at closing. But this has been an issue in the past. <laughs> Buyers are like, I don't understand. Why do I have to pay this? Why do they have to go back? It's part of the type of loan that you're getting. Now, to complete an appraisal, it usually takes about a week or two to get the results. On the final, it's usually about 24 hours to maybe three days or something like that. However, it is imperative that everything is done on time so we're not just waiting for the appraisal at the end of the day or we're not just waiting for that final inspection. If it's a new construction and it's not complete, at the time the appraiser goes, they will need to go back as well. So there's many reasons why an appraiser needs to go back and do a final inspection, but the original appraisal will tell you if it is being completed as is, and that's at the bottom of page two on most forms, or at the bottom of page three if it's a condo, then Perfect, you don't have to go back for a final inspection. If it says subject to anything, <laughs> then the appraiser will need to go back, okay? So that is what an appraisal is. That is more or less what the appraisal process is like. And the next thing that we're gonna talk about is title and survey. So thank you.